There we go. Oh, watch it. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna continue working on our apocalypse rig here. And as you've seen in the previous videos, we are making some massive progress on our living area. We got some 100% solar energy running this thing right now, but we still got a good bit to go. And what we wanna focus on is actually our kitchen area. We do wanna pick out some countertops, set the sink in that sucker. And also one of the most important things is actually getting some running water on board this thing, which I can't wait to do that. But before we can just get straight to work, we do gotta pick out some supplies, some materials and all that good stuff. So let's just run to the store and see what we can come up with. Alrighty folks, so we got our list here, we got our masks, our gloves, we got some hand sanitizer, all that good stuff when you go out and about. But the reason why we had to go to a different Home Depot than the one close to our city is because they actually have a nice countertop that we need. So let's run in there and see what it looks like. Them suckers are pretty dang heavy, aren't they? Nice solid birch wood, weigh about 100 pounds each, dude. These are nice, dude. Exactly, this is gonna go over our sink and our stove right there, and we actually took this piece as well because we're gonna probably change that out for our table, right? Yeah, our tabletop would look way better like that, and it'll be a lot sturdier. A lot you know? sturdier, exactly. So hopefully it works, it and... Is. Yeah, and we, it looks like we're gonna have to like stain and lacquer this thing. I say we look, just... This says do it with tongue. You're gonna have to use your tongue, dude. Just, just lick it all up or whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, I think we're gonna do it with a nice natural finish right yeah nice natural keep it that light colored the color that we're going with i think it'll look good dude. exactly and these are pretty fairly priced i gotta say how, how much for this big old this piece one right was here? 215 that one was 100 bucks so that cheap a lot cheaper than granite you know exactly what I mean? that's for sure and i think it's gonna look a lot better and it's gonna do its job but anyways let's keep on shopping grab what we need and get on out of here let's do it So 600 bucks later and we are out with our countertops or countertop coating a bunch of other knickknacks like some vents some little grippy tape right there and also we got little door handles for our cabinets right so we're gonna go ahead and load all this stuff up and hit up the next door all right so we're here at the tractor supply and we're just gonna go ahead and pick out our water tank and i think we got the perfect one right here we're just gonna strap this thing to the roof i think we'll be just a little bit top heavy not too much and this should last us about like a week or something like that or a weekend this right here will last you at least three months like if you want to pull out a pool and fill it up while you're camping it's perfect thing Heck, right you here can, you can just pop the top off and, and swim in there swim right in there, there right that's perfect dude but anyways guys our real water tank we're probably just gonna go with this 35 gallon one right yeah this thing looks puny right here but i'm sure this probably lasts you about a weekend yeah, or maybe a week good. it should be good enough because you can just pump water anywhere especially with our filters that we're going to connect to it we can just get regular like water hose water and it should filter it to be like a uh, water that you can drinkable drink. water yeah because it's gonna be like a no. charcoal filter what if we collected rainwater i know some people do that that bug out with bug out vehicles that'd be crazy we'd have to put like gutters all the way around our unit or something <laughs> a good like that. Assist. we'd have to definitely look into a nice filtration system as well but anyways this is just going to be our fill tank right yeah there is a septic tank that you got to install that way you don't just dump all this water onto the ground or, or, or wherever you're camping at you know what i mean so but we'll focus on that later right now let's just go ahead and grab this sucker and we'll catch you guys back at the house Thank you. 
All right, so we are back from the stores and we just got straight to work. As you can tell, we went ahead and cut this piece of wood out right here. This is actually gonna be our support because we are gonna extend the countertop all the way over this refrigerator. We are gonna color match that white and I think it's gonna look really good. And pretty much we are gonna just gonna have a lot more surface area to work with because we are gonna install a sink and a stove right there. And pretty much we're gonna turn this into one huge cutting board because we're gonna coat it in some sort of special coating. It's like tongue oil or something like that. They actually use that on cutting boards. On cutting boards and it's food safe so you can go ahead and hunt fish, chop your stuff up right here and you ain't gotta worry about nothing. But we do actually gotta cut that piece of European yeah, wood. Yeah, you're, yeah, you gotta get that right, man. That's suckers from Europe, which that's is an, crazy, that's, dude. that's an exotic piece and it's actually the perfect piece. So I'm, I'm super happy that we found that. But we are actually gonna have to slice it because I believe it's like one foot too long. So let's just go ahead and get our measurements and give it one nice cut. That's what you call a straight up European block right there, boy. Oh yeah, dude, this thing looking sick right now. I think we're gonna do one more coat, right, of this yeah, stuff? Yeah, one more coat, but dude, I love the natural color. Uh, Pops was mentioning, what did he say about burning it and giving it a little I texture to it? I said put a blowtorch to it and give it some texture, but we're going with the natural look. That's like more of like a log cabin look. Log you know cabin I mean? style, as you can tell on the side here where the blade kind of heated up, they gave it that, that look, which doesn't look too bad, but that's the way to go right there, dude. Oh yeah, dude, this is nice and clean right here. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm buffing it actually right now, all the access stuff. I'm gonna just buff it real hey, quick. Are you sure it's gonna buff out? Oh, it's buffing out, look at all that stuff. <laughs> and, then, and then after we do this, we're gonna paint that other piece, right? Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and paint it that way. Whenever we're ready, we can go ahead and throw all this in. It's just gonna look super good. So now that we got the countertop coated and we got the side piece painted, it's nice and dry. Before we throw the countertop in here, we want to actually go ahead and secure this refrigerator to the floor. That way it doesn't move around whenever you're driving or anything like that. And we got a bunch of little L brackets here that are going to be perfect. We're probably going to use this medium size one. And we're just going to do two, one right here and right, one right here. That way, whenever we get to the back of it, we'll just screw it directly to the floor and it shouldn't move at all. And once we get that done, we're probably going to go ahead and bring in that countertop, right? Heck yeah, we're going to try it out there, dude. I think it's going to look sick. And also for this big old cabinet, we're probably going to do some self tappers to this metal rail, right? Yeah, well, that should be perfect right there. This is a thick metal rail, so hopefully a self tapper will go through yeah. there. If it doesn't, we got some L brackets for the side of it. So let's just go ahead and secure this refrigerator and then we're going to bring in that countertop. That's what I'm talking about, dude. It's like the perfect color contrast in everything, dude. Dude, that looks sick right there, dude. That is what I'm talking about. We're, we really don't need any overhang here, so we kind of made it flush 
On this side, what's it looking like? A little bit of overhang? Yeah, just a little bit. I wanted it to be flush a little bit. But that is perfect, dude. That looks so good, dude. Yeah, we're just test fitting right now. Now, I don't think we'll actually glue it down because we did get some adhesive for it right here. But well, this not... is basically glue right here. This is liquid liquid nails right here. This is what they use for countertops, right? Yeah, that'll work perfectly. It's just we're going to hold off on that until we get all that stuff fastened down at the bottom. Yeah, I just wanted to put everything up here. That way we can actually adjust this cabinet. We're actually putting it perfectly in the middle of both of these windows. And uh, I just want to see how much of this fridge I need to actually pull out or push in. And I think that's going to be it right there. I don't really want to push it in any, anymore. Do you think we should like right there? Um, what do you think about that? Or should we have it flush? I say have it flush. It looked a lot better, I think, flush. Personally. All right, let's see. Yeah, there we go. A little bit popped out. Dude, that is sick. That is legit, dude. Imagine, I was I've seen this actually in some of the bug out vehicles, uh, an electric stove, stove top where it's just like a glass piece like that. It looks pretty cool, but we really want to do propane, right? Yeah, we want to run everything off of uh, as much as propane as uh, as possible because, you know, propane's uh, actually pretty fairly cheap and power, we want to power like our lights, our AC system and everything else, but I think propane looks cool yeah. too, we you need know to, I mean? Yeah, we need to use a little bit of natural gas on here. It'll make our 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 solar panels run less, you know yeah, what I mean? If we, if we do uh, electric, I bet that thing actually eats a lot of electric, you know what Oh I yeah, mean? those electric um, power or electric stoves do, they eat up a lot of power. But anyways, let's go ahead and keep fastening things up and then maybe start cutting out the sinkhole. Let's do it. All right, so check this out, guys. We finally got the refrigerator nice and secure along with this large cabinet. Check this out. Dude, I'm, am I moving the whole entire thing? the whole truck around. This thing, too, right here, nice and secure to that metal plate back there. But as you can tell, our doors will be flapping around if we just leave them like that and we're off-roading. So we got the perfect solution for that. Check this out. We got some double roller catch with a strike right here. We're going to go ahead and put that on all of our doors. That way they stay nice and shut once we're off-roading or trailing. As for the fridge, it is magnetic, but I don't know. Maybe we'll figure something out. Maybe put a piece of Gorilla tape right there, <laughs> flex seal or something like hey, that. Hey, we can even put one of those things right there, dude, if possible. If possible, yeah, or buy like a super strong magnet or something like oh, that. Yeah. But anyways, we also got some nice handles for all of these drawers because, you know, it's going to be kind of hard to open it up just like this. So let's just go ahead, install all this stuff, and then we're going to move on to installing our sink. guys so our handles are finally on and they look absolutely amazing they match our refrigerator and all that good stuff and as for the strikers they're actually kind of weak they're not as strong as i thought they were kind of sucks but we'll probably buy some kind of magnets or something like that but for this area right here kind of looks empty we're thinking about putting like some kind of like long handle something to match this that way we can throw like some towels or something like that but anyways that looks really good let's go ahead and actually move on to our sink right here this is a 15 inch sink nothing too majorly big but it should be perfect for what we're going to be doing so let's go ahead and crack it open and see if we can install this sucker Top. That's a good clean cut right there, dude. Let me go ahead and push it all the way through. I did set a box underneath there. Woo! Hey! Slam that thing. Oh, oh no, watch out. Dude, don't do it. Woo-wee! 
Got it, dude. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right, right there. Moment of truth, though. Moment of truth. See if, if it cut, fits. If we didn't cut this right, we may have to just redo the whole thing, dude. Oh, man. Are you ready for it? Yep. Perfect. What a beat. Oh, yes, yes, sir. Dude. That's beautiful. It's that kind of a is. tiny sink, but I think it's perfect for what we're working with. You know what I mean? We don't want to waste too much water. Yeah, don't want to waste too much water, and you really ain't going to be using this as much as you think you are whenever you're camping. You know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. So we're going to go ahead and, what do, you, what do you say? Go ahead and throw on the faucet as well. Let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys, so the faucet is installed as well. It looks really good. It was actually pretty dang simple, and dude, I think that's the perfect size for this countertop. I can't wait till our propane heater or propane stove propane stove comes in. We actually uh, got a pretty big one, right? Yeah, it's not did. massive, but it's actually perfect for this area right here. It's going to clean this whole entire thing up. What is this, a little cutting board right there? Hey, we got a huge cutting board here right here, but if you want to, like, you know, go chop, chop, go ham on go something, ham, you can easily just do it on there right there. But right now, we're actually going to focus on our plumbing system that's one of the probably gonna be one of the biggest major things that we're gonna have to run into where we're gonna need to plumb up all the lines where we're gonna actually store the water tank we're thinking about doing it right here uh, that's our major plan right now so if it fits in there we're gonna go with it if not we're probably gonna see if it'll go underneath this truck right definitely want to start focusing on weight distribution we want to start putting stuff on this side because as you can tell we got a good bit of weight on this side especially with this nice little piece of wood yeah, right this there. thing actually weighs 98 pounds just to count top alone i don't know how much this thing probably weighs what do you think of that weight probably about 98 pounds as well so you're looking at probably like 300 pounds just on this side and then on this side we got our batteries and all and this stuff right here how much you think weight is on the this batteries side? and stuff probably weighs about 80 pounds or something 100 pounds something so, like that so we're getting close you know we got to just stay on that level it's not a big deal but we you know you just want to have it as close as possible so we may even do like the septic tank on this side exactly yeah, or the drainage the, tank or whatever you call it but what i was thinking if we put the the fill tank up here run the lines on the outside and go underneath this seat and then through that right there oh that, yeah that'd be super simple there. i think that's just how we're going to run all the lines everything through this back wall because there's just a lot of workspace over here and especially with this little power box on the side we can easily drill through it like we did with our uh solar panels so we got a lot to go uh, we got a lot done right here this looks really good i'm super happy how it turned out but it did get super late on us so we're gonna have to catch you guys in the morning all right, so it is the next day here. What we're about to do is actually test fit this water tank into this opening. And if it fits, we're gonna nicely secure it, make sure it's nice and stout. And then from then on out, we'll probably go to the store, buy some plumbing and some other supplies to hopefully get some running water out of this sink. Alright guys, so we are back with a bunch of plumbing supplies here. We got some plugs, some valves, some elbows, some couplings, everything in between. Got some weird tools that we've never used before. We've seen these in the construction industry, but we've never done any plumbing, so this is going to be our first. But we went ahead and tilted the cab open just to get some better access over there, because the way that we're actually going to plumb this stuff up is going to the side there, down through this wall, underneath the seating area, and then underneath this sink. So let's just go ahead, crack some of this stuff open, keep moving, and hopefully get it plumbed up.
dude, it sounded like the beginning of a movie right there. You Should know? I cut it off? Go. Oh. Yo. It's pumping. Look at that. Yeah, it's probably full of air right now, but it sounds cool, dude. Oh, dude, I can't wait for water to come out. Uh, as for the bottom right there, that's going to be our septic tank for now. <laughs> we'll set that up later, but let's see. Wait, why is it just blowing air? Dude, what a... I don't know, dude. Let's try. Let's I think see. I got the pump on backwards. No way. <laughs> yes. Oh, man. All right, guys, so we quickly flipped the pump the other way. Let's go ahead and cut it on and see if it actually prime like it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Sounds weird. That's just how it is, man. It's a water pump. Maybe we should go ahead and cut the water on as well. Yeah, go ahead. Hit the switch. Oh, there we go. Oh, watch it. Yes, sir. We got air in it right now. Dang. Oh. It don't sound right. It don't sound right. Maybe that's how that's just how it is, maybe. Oh. Shouldn't be pumping anymore right now. It even popped the whole dang sink up right there. Yeah, well, it's just not screwed down. I'm just wondering why it's not running right. Maybe we have the wiring a little bit wrong because, like, you know, there's a certain amount of amps yeah. that it wants to no, run as well. It's, it's right. Maybe the pump is not supposed to be upside down. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we're definitely going to look into that, but you know what? We got some running water. That's dude, all I got to that say. That is awesome. We finally got the sink working, which is pretty dang crazy, but dude, we got water. All right, guys, so now that we got some running water to this thing, that is going to be a wrap for today's video. It is not 100% because we still got a lot to learn. And also, if you guys have any suggestions, be sure to drop that in the comments section down below. But that is going to be it. Make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Gun Squad. And if you want to help support your boys be sure to visit goonsquad.com and copy some merch but that is going to be all make sure you guys stay tuned and we'll catch you guys next time peace